Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, I want to make a quick video about uh, summer holiday eating tips. Um, this is going to be like a part two to my uh, Thanksgiving video, although I might repeat some things, okay? So, um, first things first, when it comes to holiday eating, all right, remember, just keep in your mind that we only have uh, two weeks left, two weeks left in the holidays, okay? So think of a big picture, okay? Even if you don't do your best, and if you haven't done your best uh, on Thanksgiving, uh, chances are your progress didn't get totally ruined, okay? And even if you don't do your best on Christmas um, and on New Year, um, those two or three data points, those two or three days, or maybe even six, seven days, or maybe even ten days, in the pro in the in a big picture, in a year, in a thirty days span of your journey are just a small blip, okay? Um, and you are not always gonna be cutting, all right? There, there will be time in your life when you'll be maintaining. Uh, and there may be time in your life when you will be putting, decide, decide to put more on more muscle and bulk, all right? Now that's a personal choice and that's totally up to you. Um, I personally never thought that I would be uh, con even considering bulking, but when I cut down, um, I thought I was really small and I wanted to be bigger. So now I'm bulking. And yes, it's uncomfortable. It is total mind shift and it's teaching me uh, a lot about myself and uh, about psychology of, um, um, I guess, weight loss. Um, but it's a welcome change and I'm embracing it, okay? So, big picture, all right? Think big picture. Don't get, um, don't beat yourself up, all right? Goes number two. Don't beat yourself up over small things. Don't get so trapped in your head over not a good day or over um, an indulgence you had, okay? Enjoy it, move on. Three, stick with your routine. Like I said, this uh, these holiday um, times are stressful, right? There's a lot going on. There's lots of moving parts. We're trying to coordinate uh, holiday trips. We're trying to coordinate uh, Christmas parties. Uh, if you have kids, you're trying to coordinate their events um, uh, Christmas shopping, even getting a tree, you know, it, it is, some of those things are very joyful, but they can also be very stressful, okay? One thing that you absolutely would benefit from is sticking with your routine. So if you're used to working out, keep working out. If you, if you usually get up at 6 a.m. and go work out, keep that in, okay? Even if that means that you lose a little bit of sleep, right? If you, if you usually go to bed at 10, uh, but you went to bed at 12 and you only got six hours of sleep and you made it to work out, that's fine. Keep that routine going. Meal prep. Keep meal prepping. Do not quit meal prepping. Um, it is going to help you. It can only help you. Okay? Four. Uh, if you're going to an event like a Christmas party or um, a gathering, bring some food. Make something that you can share with everybody. It doesn't have to be anything extraordinary. Sometimes when I don't have time uh, to prepare to cook anything, um, I just cut up a whole bunch of vegetables. Right? Uh, cucumbers, some baby carrots, grab some peppers, and make a big vegetable tray with some baby tomatoes. They're called baby tomatoes? They're called cherry tomatoes. Uh, cherry tomatoes. Um, Fitzgerald's about to introduce himself. Clay. Um, so cherry tomatoes, and my dog is trying to figure out what this light is. Um, and bring that tray with you, okay? So you can always, that's something you can always fall back on. If there's, if you show up at the party and there's nothing good that's worth eating and everything is a casserole and everything looks super fatty and you don't feel like eating it, it's fine. Eat what you brought, at least you know what macros are. Five, keep stress at bay. Uh, this goes along with uh, one and two and three because if you stick with your routine, you'll be less stressed. If you keep stress at bay, If you didn't stress at bay, that is my dog. I'm so sorry. He's scared of the, the wires on the floor. You want to say hi? Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. You want to say hi to you? Hi. Another one. Hello. All right. But seriously, just at bay, uh, do things that you're used to doing. Um, if you have a hobby, that is knitting, or if you have a hobby that is drawing, or playing music, or playing an instrument, or singing, do it. You may not have time to do it as much as you're used to doing it, because it's holidays and we're busy, 
but still do it. That will de-stress you and that will help you be more successful. Now, to wrap this whole, th this whole thing up, do not get stressed if you are not able to hit your macros as well as you used to. And that means also do not get stressed if you don't see the scale moving in a direction that you are used to seeing it move. So if you're used to losing half a pound a week or a pound a week or seeing or getting that uh, positive feedback, I guess, from the scale moving up or down, whatever way you want it to move, do not be stressed if it does not do that during these times. I promise you, as long as you stay consistent, as long as you um, let your coach know um, how you're doing, what is, you know, as long as you're honest with your coach, we can help you, but the consistency is the key.